Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. So this is going to be a handheld vlog. So forgive the shakiness. I am going to um, show off one of my collections. I enjoy collecting enamel pins, mainly Disney pins, um, but not entirely. So that's the majority of the type of pins you're gonna see in this collection. It's a pin collection. So I'm gonna turn the lens around or you know, swap the camera, however you say it, and then uh, I'll show off all my cool pins. All right. Okay, so I've got three boards up here. Um, these are all run Disney medals. We enjoy doing virtual 5Ks um, for health, and the medals are really neat. So that's another hobby <laughs> for collecting. Uh, but at least, you know, it helps us lose weight. So here is my Haunted Mansion board. And I'm gonna start up here at the top. We've got the extending portraits, Hatbox Ghost, some spooky portraits. I love, this is kind of the centerpiece. I got, it glows in the dark, it's so nice. It's really bright. And this is one of my three Halloween countdown pins. Some standard ones. I think these are like all open edition. And these are the pop ones. Those are okay. Most of the time I don't really care for that design. My first Disneyland board. So if it has something to do with Disneyland specifically, um, you know, then I'm gonna put it up here. I do want to eventually get a uh, ride pen collection going. There's my Halloween slash Nightmare Before Christmas pin board. These are really cool. I like this one a lot. This Headless Horseman. It's one of my favorite uh, movies to watch during Halloween. All right. Let's go over to the other boards. Okay, so I got, well, the, oh, it was a four pack of these pennants. I like these hanging pennants because these cardboard pegboards, whatever you want to call them, um, I've had the most horrible time trying to get them to stay attached to my wall. And I just chose to go with, with these. I can just put a push pin in the wall and hang them by a rope. So, here I have what I like. So the lighting might be a little too intense there. Um, my classic Disney cartoon collection board, if you will, uh, which is Sword in the Stone and Robin Hood. I love Robin Hood. I love both those movies. And here is Walt Disney World specifically. Um, not a pass holder myself. A friend was able to get that for me during the 50th anniversary. And she also gifted me this Animal Kingdom 20th anniversary pin. I do like these cuckoo clock pins because they're basically ride pins to me. Um, I do have the Jungle Cruise one, but I gotta fix it or get another one because one of the dangly parts broke off of it really like these artfully evil pins with Prince John and Jafar. And those were run Disney pins that came with the medals. Got Unlock the Evil. Got some Rainbow Love pins. Uh, is it Woody? <laughs> I forgot his name for half a second. Mr. Incredible. Uh, Pooh Bear. Got a couple Disney Afternoon pins, and then um, Maleficent. And then over here, some more Disney World, Epcot specifically from the Flower and Garden show that we went to. Uh, this was a, uh, bought this off of a friend. I think this was for the Festival of the Arts. That's a limited edition. I think it's glittery. I like it. I like figment. Moving over to our left. This is our first group of non-Disney pens. These are just random ones. Got some Godzilla pens. I love Godzilla. Some Star Trek. There's a um, 
shredder, but that please don't die one is, uh, I got that from a plant shop. They put it in with the plants I ordered from them. And this coin is from a comic book series. Then I got my horror movie pens up here. Got uh, Christmas people with the wreath. Gremlins, of course. My Bloody Valentine, absolutely love this. Friday the 13th, my favorite slasher. Got some <laughs> crossovers. Here's one that's a Disney horror crossover. You got Baymax as Jason, I love it. Friday the 13th, part three pins, part two, part one. All right, back to Disney. So we went on our first Disney cruise last September on the Fantasy. And uh, we're fortunate enough to be able to do concierge on our first cruise. Probably won't do it again. Um, it is, a, it's overpriced, honestly, but you do get some nice conveniences. But these are all the pens. And then here's some buttons. I like a lot of the Disney buttons. My only uh, like Disney Tokyo pin that I got from a friend. And then all these pins were part of the D23 gold member gift set from a few years ago. It was a really nice, really nice set. Oh, and two more pins that I got at the parks. Um, they're fig pins, which is a brand of enamel pin, but uh, there is figment <laughs> and then there is the orange bird and that is next to the leader of the band uh, that's from the d23 fan club that was last year's gift i believe so really nice all right that's it that's it for the pins uh for this time around i'll do another video when i uh come back from the parks I'm, i usually buy a few pins every time i go to the parks so Thanks for watching. Bye.